Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch this pre-recorded webinar. This is next in the series of technical webinars from AIT, uh, specifically relating to Salto, Door Access Solution and the integration that we can achieve. This session will run for approximately 20 minutes. Um, some of the slides will be irrelevant as they're geared towards a live audience. So please allow me to introduce myself. My name's David, I'm a technical solutions specialist with AIT, and I've been here for a number of years in a technical capacity, uh, which will hopefully put me in a good position to give you uh, as good information, and the best information possible about uh, the Salto solution and what AIT can help you achieve. So let's look at a quick agenda. We'll briefly go through um, an introduction to Salto. We'll look at the scope of the integration that we can achieve, how we can achieve that integration. I'll take you through a quick integration demo, and there will be a question and answer session at the end. So, AIT are certified by Salto. Uh, we've been working with Salto for a number of years and forged a very strong relationship with them. We really like the hardware that they can deliver, and they like our software capabilities. Um, as a an organization that delivers innovative software solutions, um, we can really add a lot of value to um, what what would normally be a, a maybe a standard door access solution. Um, but AIT with, with software expertise can add a lot to that. Uh, we'll look at Space, which is the new platform from Salto. This is entirely web-based, so it's accessible from anywhere. Um, this is perhaps better than the previous um, uh, installed application as we can easily delegate access to facility staff or maybe front desk staff who are issuing uh, access cards to visitors, guests and staff. Currently um, Space uses uh, Microsoft Silverlight, however as standards dictate uh, there will soon be a release which will move um, uh, to the Space application to use HTML5. Um, as I said, this is, seems to be a standard which is being adopted uh, globally, so we are going to take advantage of that in a new release. And of course, there's the same great features in space as there was in the previous ProAccess installed application. So let's look at the scope of integration. At the heart of everything we do uh, with Door Access is, of course, Salto. We can create users. We can bring data in from external systems to actually add users to the Salto database. Arguably one of the heaviest administrative burdens is uh, managing and maintaining a door access system in terms of people who can use it. Um, we can automate this by integrating with a, maybe a management system or an external directory or database. We can set default access. So when we create a new user, we can set default access for them. Uh, so they can access specific doors. We can update access, so in addition to just creating new users, we can change the access of already existing users within the database uh, to fit in line with maybe organizational changes, uh, and changes to people's roles, that sort of thing. We can assign and update cards, quite a fundamental part. Um, we can integrate with um, a card ID creation system. We uh, provide a solution called Card5. Um, so when the cards are being created in an application such as uh, sorry, Card Exchange, um, during the printing process, the number will be read off the card, and that data is actually sent back to Salto uh, and, and imported into Salto's database. So that user can use their card immediately to access um, doors within the organization. And another fundamental part, we can cancel cards. So um, in the event of needing to revoke access for a specific user, we can remove that access um, dictated by an external management system. Inversely, we can get data out of Salto. So um, during data -day operations, Salto collects information on users. So who went through what door, uh, when and when, so date and time information. We can collect that, that data and output it um, so it can be reported on, so people can see maybe for a roll call um, type solution, uh, which I'll show you an example of a bit later. 
And lastly, we can invoke external systems. So in the event of maybe a lock being forced within Salto or an event being triggered within Salto, we can send a small amount of data to an external system which would trigger maybe an alarm or a CCTV solution. Um, so that can be captured and uh, existing security solutions on, on site um, is kind of added to in terms of functionality. So how do we go about integrating with Salto? Um, there are a couple of options. Um, Salto's backend is, is SQL based, so it's all within an SQL server. We can use what we call a staging table to bring data into Salto. So we can um, maybe trigger an event from an external SQL system to populate this particular uh, table in which Salto takes its data from and imports it to its own databases. In addition to the SQL, we can import and export from CSV files. So a lot of external or third party systems will have the capability to export to a CSV. We can take that data and bring it into Salto so that data can be used. Uh, equally, we can export data from Salto in a uh, CSV format. And we can do these based on uh, either a scheduled job or a manual synchronization. A uh, scheduled job is a time-based initialization. So we set up a job within Salto to run um, as per a frequency, which achieves an automated uh, integration. The manual synchronization is a user sort of started uh, sync. So that would be something that requires ad hoc uh, import or export. And finally, we've got the event stream. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is just um, the third party integration in terms of other security elements such as CCTV or an alarm, whereby a small amount of data is sent directly to a particular system to trigger it. So let's have a look at um, a demo now. So let me show you space first of all. So this is entirely web based, as I mentioned, if we just log in. OK, so now we're logged in. We have quick access shortcuts on the main screen, whereby we can get to certain areas. If we have a look at our user list, at the moment there is only one entry. So we need to import some more users in there. We go about this by using a scheduled job in this particular instance. As you can see here, I have created a scheduled job called Update from AD. And this will run every 30 seconds. Now, if we have a look at our backend uh, server in SQL, we can see here this is our staging table. So if we just quickly view data within that, there's currently no data within the staging table. You'll notice that there are a number of fields within the staging table. This is data specifically used by Salto. Um, in order to set certain parameters within the Salto database. Each of the fields has to be named in a specific way, and also the field properties have to meet certain criteria, value, length, and type of character, etc. So what we need to do is populate the uh, staging table now. We're going to populate it from our Active Directory uh, system, so our network authentication. So we've created a script in order to uh, use PowerShell to obtain data from Active Directory. Just a very simple script in this particular instance that can be as complicated or simple as needed. And this will look at a specific area of Active Directory and import the user's names within there. So if I run that, that's run. If I re-execute this on the SQL to refresh the data, you can see that four users have been brought through and the relevant fields. So in this particular instance, we're importing their username, their first name, and their last name. There are a number of fields that are automatically populated by SQL, but we can achieve certain other things such as access levels, so the doors that that particular user can, can access, the card ID number, which is the ROM code, the activation date, so when the card will become active, we can pre-populate. Um, we can set expiry dates and other bits and pieces as well. Now, if we have a look um, towards the end, there's some control fields here. Um, to be processed by Salto uh, is uh, an indicator or a flag 
to Salto. So when the field is set to one, Salto knows to import that data. When the data has actually been imported, that will be changed to zero and a process date time will be populated. If any errors occur, they will also be logged in the error fields at the end. So if we execute that now, hopefully Salto has picked that up. As you can see, processed by Salto has been set to zero and the process date time has been entered in there. So that data will now exist within Salto. If we go back to the space front end, go back to users, we can see those same users have now been brought through into the user element here. We only imported the name information in this particular example, but what we could do, as I mentioned, is import their card number, their title, and set other security options within the application, activation, expiry dates, that sort of thing. This is a very simple example of uh, some integration. Now, on the other side of that, we can uh, obtain data from out of Salto. In this particular example, uh, we've created ourselves on our own Salto solution um, an in-out board for the AIT offices. So we can see, um, just by looking at the grid, who is in and who is out of which office. So we've got all of our staff names in here. And we've got a coloured column here, so uh, in to indicate whether the, the, the colleague is in or out, and also which office they scanned in and out of as well, so we can tell their location. This is data that's all obtained from Salto, um, and is based on the data that, that Salto collects as users pass through certain doors. Okay. Let's look at an integration summary now, just of, of everything we've already discussed. So at the heart of everything we do is Salto. We can bring data in from CSV file, from an external directory, or from external databases. We can also export data to either a report format or roll call, or we can invoke security solutions such as CCTV or alarms. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time to watch this pre-recorded webinar. More information is available on our website uh, or you can contact us to discuss anything in more detail.